Hey everybody, it's Tiffany from Quilters Workshop and today I just wanted to do a really quick little demo slash tutorial about stippling or meandering. Um, what I'm working on right now is going to be um, a toss pillow. I used a, a photo transfer um, and I just, I'm using this like plaid Christmas fabric um, for the front and I just thought it looked a little plain so I wanted to give it lots and lots of quilting um, so you can see um, the stippling that I've done so far and to do it you need to lower your you lower your feed dogs on your sewing machine the switch for that is usually at the back over there and then you need to use a pressure foot that looks like this um, which is called the hopper foot and the reason why you have to make sure that your feed dogs are down is because rather than your feed dogs bringing the fabric through the sewing machine for you, what you need to do is steer it yourself into any direction you want. It's really something that um, would be good just to kind of practice on if you weren't really working on anything one day and just wanted to play with your machine. I would recommend just cutting like two squares of fabric and putting a piece of batting in between and just trying it out with all different kinds of threads and at different speeds. The most important part um, I think is just to remember to kind of relax and sort of just go with the flow and move the fabric around as you go um, and also to be very careful that you try and keep your stitch length as even as possible. So as you can see um, in this area here my stitch lengths are all pretty much the same so if I'm stepping on my pedal and I'm like moving the fabric around with my hands while I'm stepping on it um, however hard or however much I push or pull the fabric in any direction, that's how far the needle will jump. So if I step on my pedal right now and push the fabric like way this way, then my needle is going to jump way over here and I'm going to have a big long stitch. So it's just something that you kind of need to practice doing your curves and this is also a really good technique to use if you wanted to, for example, draw hearts on your fabric and then you can easily follow that line to trace them. Um, and I would also use this technique if you had a really boring fabric and you wanted to make, let's say, a stocking or a placemat or something, you could like pre-quilt the fabric in advance and then go ahead and create whatever project you were going to do with that fabric. So I just thought that I would share what I was working on tonight with you guys. And if you have any questions, you could send me an email at quilters.workshop at gmail.com. Thanks so much for watching.